Hey guys, uh, so we're gonna do a little test here, end of the day. Um, a couple guys were asking about, I'm gonna do a little bit of mixture stuff, but a couple guys were asking why I don't like using, or why I don't recommend using, I shouldn't say like using, recommend using E85. So I bought some E85 from the pump, and this has just got regular old gasoline in it. It's older gasoline, might be, uh, it's at least a year old, but it was uh, premium with no ethanol in it. What I want, what I'm going to do is, I got some jars. I actually got something else that I mixed up too. That's right here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But we got a couple jars here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to throw you guys into the tripod so I got two hands to do this so we don't end up with it all over ourselves. <clears throat> I'm going to put... in our right hand. I'm going to bring it over to my toolbox and I'll be right back. So notably the E85 has a little bit of a tinge to it. Now I don't know if it's always like that because I really don't monkey with the E85 too much being a diesel guy. We will get into doing some E85 stuff at some point when I start doing a little bit of gas content, but I got a bunch of diesel stuff that I want to do first, so that will be down the road. But E85 gas, now this, there was more than one person, but I, sorry, I can't remember who it was, that asked me about mixing vegetable oil and black diesel together. So I did uh, our black diesel with 10% or 20% gas, 10% diesel fuel, black diesel, and vegetable oil, and I mix it, I mix it together, shook it real good. And then it's been sitting for a week or so, um, ever since he asked. Like I said, there was more than one person that asked, um, but it has not gelled up, hasn't done anything weird. Like, that's the first time I shake it. I moved it from over there on the bench, but it hasn't done anything weird. And I didn't figure it was gonna do anything weird, but that tells you, I don't know, you know, like some might. Now, both of those were cleaned products, ready to go. So I don't know if that makes a difference. If you had um, some fatty free acids or something in it, maybe it would do something weird. But if you're running it in the truck, you shouldn't have fatty free acids floating in it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is now for our test on this. Our test on this, what we're gonna do is pour some water in this one and some water in this one, and we're gonna shake it up and see what it does. So in theory, E85 will take on water. The water content it will take on water. Gasoline should not. So we're going to put some in there and shake it and see what happens. So I'll be right back with some water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take roughly, they're pretty close to the same amount of gas or E85 and gas. Um, we're going to take 50 milliliters of water and put it in each one. Notably, you can see a difference. I'm gonna go grab a marker, so I don't wanna mix these up. We're gonna clean the water out of these with the centrifuge. But if you look at this, hopefully you guys will be able to see that. 
See the water in the bottom right here? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna seal this up and give it a, just a couple shakes. And we'll let that sit for a minute and see what it does. I'm just curious. I don't even know the answer to this question. This is just was an, uh, what, I, what I was thinking. So we're not gonna shake this one. I'm just gonna bring it over to the camera. And there is notably not a line of water in this. It has absorbed the water, right? So if you look at this one now, after that shake, the water went to the bottom. Not all of the water, because I mixed it up, obviously. But water in the bottom again, right? And then E85. Okay, obviously it hasn't sat for very long. But there again, even the, even the bottle, look at the water in this one. You see the water is actually attached to the bottle. Both of these were brand new jars, canning jars. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put these on the shelf and we're just not gonna to touch them for a while because I'm curious what they're gonna do. But that is the reason, for you guys that have been asking about it, that's the reason that I don't like using E85. If you were gonna use it right away, so let's say you were gonna put your E85 in and then run the tank out right away. It is a little tiny bit cheaper. I just don't like it because if there's water in the system, it absorbs the water. If it sits open, open to atmosphere, if you just have an open atmosphere vent and it's if it's moist out, it's gonna suck up water. That's the reason the guys that run E85 or methanol have to constantly clean the system. You can't leave it in there because it screws stuff up because it takes on water. Fantastic fuel, don't get me wrong, but it pull, takes on water. And then gas does not do so because it is still petroleum product, 100% petroleum product. Wow. I shouldn't say 100% petroleum product. This one would have been because it has no ethanol in it. Um, but if you had a little bit of ethanol, it would soak up a little bit. But not near as much as E85. Because you can notably see the difference. Like that's... A notable difference. That is the reason that I don't use E85. So... I don't think I really need to talk too much more about that. Um, I just wanted to I just wanted to mention it because I was thinking of it. I am going to do some testing with E85 just because a few guys have asked me to. Um, but yeah, so like I said on this one, I, I don't see a I don't see a big deal in mixing it as long as your stuff is good. Like I said, that is black diesel and vegetable oil mixed together. I don't see an issue with it as long as your viscosity is good. And then running E85. Obviously, mixed with water, the gas did not take the water on. It has dispersed it. Most of it, anyway. So, I'm going to throw this on the shelf. I'm going to both throw all three of these back up on the shelf again. And uh, we'll come back after a while, take a look at them, and just see what they've done. I'm curious, because I don't know, will the water come back out of the E85, or will it stay suspended? I'm going to say it's going to stay suspended. And the gas, obviously, the gas is not suspended in it now, but um, just I'm curious what it'll do. We'll leave it for a little while, and we'll see what happens. Anyway, oh yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science.